is up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another week in my life in new york city it's a gloomy day not raining just gloomy and i felt the need to set the scene for you guys <laughs> i've had a lovely morning i woke up an hour before my alarm which is just always you know it's going to be a great day well if you're feeling rested when you wake up before your alarm and i did so it gave me some more time to just relax to myself um i'm weirdly feeling very relaxed and rejuvenated. I feel like Mondays I'm always trying to get my pieces together, but I had a really nice Sunday and I really just, I did like seven loads of laundry yesterday, which I never do. Clean my sheets, like that kind of vibe. And I don't know, I just feel really good. I like prepared, I responded to emails last night so people would see them this morning, like, not to brag. I'm just feeling good. And a lot of times on Mondays, I'm kind of feeling frazzled. So hopefully this inspires you guys to start your week in a good you know on a good note um i really take sunday nights um very seriously and try to do my best to kind of prepare for a good week ahead anyways i'm also traveling this week i'm going to stagecoach which i don't even know if i've said in a vlog yet i am so excited i have like a little pile here of all my stagecoach stuff semi last minute a few weeks ago my friend margo called me and was like hey you want to go to stagecoach i have a couple extra tickets and it's going to be me margo ashri margo lee Dom Roberts, Kenzie Elizabeth, and then Margot's friend, Emily, who I'm so excited to like hang out with more. It's gonna be a really great group. I love country music. I'm so, so excited. I've been to Coachella before. I didn't go this year because it was Brooke's birthday and everything. And honestly, I'm really excited about Stagecoach. I think it's gonna be really good vibes, a lot more chill. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to show you guys my outfits and everything. So we'll be prepping for that a little bit here. But again, I, I just, I'm in a really good headspace and I'm gonna try and stay in it. Um, because we do have a semi-busy day ahead. I'm about to head out the door. We're gonna go work out with Jane, which has been the best thing for me. Like, it's such a great way to start my week. I was at first just doing workouts Wednesdays and Fridays, but now I've added in Mondays, and it's so great because we usually record Gals on the Go, my podcast on Mondays. And it, I don't know, it's just a good way to start the day. So on my way to the gym, I'm gonna drop off this dress for to the dry cleaners. I literally have never gotten anything dry cleaned in New York City yet, but Kelly let me borrow her dress. She had like a birthday weekend this past weekend and it's beautiful. And I was like, I'm going to dry clean it as a thank you for letting me wear it, please, please, please. So I'm gonna go drop something off the dry cleaners, go to the gym, shower at the gym, get ready at the gym, which I've never done. I've gotten ready there once, but I've never used their showers. So I'm excited. Um, and then head straight to the Gals on the Go office studio from there. We're recording an episode of the podcast this week. For this week, we're doing a beauty favorites episode, which I'm so pumped about. I've been like obsessed with beauty recently. So we're going to be talking about all of our favorites. And then as always, we always do like a weekend recap and just tell really funny stories. So if you don't listen to my podcast already, Go check it out. It's with my best friend, Brooke Michio. It's called Gals on the Go. We have new episodes every Wednesday. And then after we record, I think I'll have a beat to come back. I'm gonna submit the podcast to our producer and just do a couple other things. And then tonight, I'm really setting the scene for you guys, aren't I? I really should be going. Um, tonight, my high school, like my high school in Tampa, is coming to New York City. They're doing like an alumni tour or whatever. So tonight, they're gonna be in New York City. They're, they rented out the rooftop at Hotel Hugo from six to eight, so I'm so pumped. I was that girl that was very involved at my high school. I'm literally on the committee to like plan our reunion. I was like president of the alumni committee. Like I I loved my high school, okay? I enjoyed it. Um, so I'm really excited. The headmaster is gonna be there, one of the deans, and then also our theater director is going to be there who I love so much. I'm so excited to see him and a few other teachers that I didn't necessarily have, but, and then some of my friends that, like I'm, I'm just excited because I know all the people, a lot of alumni that live in New York City that I've talked to recently are gonna be there and I haven't seen them in so long. So I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm like, I don't know what to wear. Cause a lot of my friends are like coming from work but I won't be doing that. So I'm like, should I wear a blazer? Like, I don't know the vibe. <laughs> That's what today is gonna be like. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. Wednesday is spray tan prep, pack, all the things. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this week in my life. It's a little chilly outside, so I'm gonna put on this puffer. This top is from Amazon. Um, I think it's linked in my Amazon shop, which is always linked down below. I have some fun little Amazon workout sets linked on there. I got these new sneakers because my Hoka's just got ruined stepping in like puddles in New York City. I've washed them many times and now they're just done. So I got these Adidas ones. I will link them below if I can find them. Um, but I actually got them on Amazon. Crazy enough. I've always wanted these sneakers and I found them. So I was very excited about that. They're super comfortable. 
so far. Um, but my trainer's actually been having me take off my shoes when I work out. So these are kind of just like, I don't know, when I have them on, I guess. Um, Cause apparently she thinks it's better, like especially with like weights and stuff, to have your balance. I don't really know. I'm probably saying the wrong thing. I have this little duffel pack. I actually got it from Rare Beauty in a PR package and I'm obsessed with it. It's the perfect cute little, little gym bag. We've got a nice little walk ahead of us. I need to know if any of you ever get tulips, like I've had them for a little bit now and they're just getting wild. And one of you DM me on Instagram saying that your tulips are going wild too. Like, I don't think they're, I mean, maybe they're dying. That's really sad, but I just changed the water yesterday. They've just been doing what they want, you know? So I don't really know what to do about it. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just when I sit down to do work, it's like, oh, I gotta move the tulips out of the way. She is indeed a gal on the go. Let's start the day. They have towels here, which is really nice. The shower looks pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed. So let's see how this goes. All right, I got ready in terrible lighting. My makeup doesn't look half bad. I think I'm gonna get Chipotle. Then we're gonna go to this uh, office and prep for the interview and then the podcast. We're just wearing our Don't Text merch for the show today because we are launching this week. It's already out by the time you guys watch. So Don't Text 2.0 is out. We have mugs, two different colors of hoodies. There's a design on the back too that I'll show you guys when we get to the studio. But Brooke's wearing the white one. I'm wearing the black one. Yay. Well, here's my bowl. Oh gosh. All right, the gals are here. We're in our don't text. Wait, Brooke, turn around. Oh, Show them your um. The back. Yeah. So this is the back. It's the, don't text. The photos came out so good. It's actually like you can see the the black and white one. Like the don't text is so much clearer on it. But yeah. Will you hold it's this? It's still really, really good. Yes, of course. A little modeling moment. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's this and then the mugs, which are this same shape, but um. Nude. Don't text nude in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> so get your merch, get your merch here. Thanks yeah, for holding it. <laughs> of course. We're gonna do our little interview for the New York Post and then record an episode of Girls and Go. Woo! We are back now. I just pulled my hair back in some clips. I just ate an apple. I'm feeling a little sleepy, <laughs> but that's okay. I just like I'm just now putting together a lot of um, how. Today's a big social battery day and I need to like charge it up because I know when I go to this event for my old high school, it's gonna be a lot of like, what are you doing now? And like, what's new and all that. And just like a lot of talking. So, and I'm just not that I can talk, but I'm just a little sleepy. So I just need to like muster up some extra energy. So I have like an hour until I leave and I'm just trying to figure out what would serve me in this hour. I just listened to a podcast. I uploaded all of our clips for our producer for the podcast. So those are not charging up kind of things, but I'm just trying to decide what I should do. And I need to figure out what I'm wearing. Maybe I should do that now, I don't know. I also just got this Black and Decker like handheld vacuum. It's charging right now, I think, I hope. Um, Cause my friend told us about it she like uses it she uses it for like her countertop her stove top um i feel like it's just good like if i just need to get something quick like just a little corner so i'll keep you guys posted on how it works i just got it on amazon i literally just looked up black and decker handheld vacuum vacuum <laughs> oh my god vacuum that was really silly of me so yeah, I can't wait to play around with this. I am cracking up because Calpac just did this collaboration with Taco Bell. And this suitcase, tell me it doesn't look exactly like um, my big red suitcase that everyone made fun of me for. 
and I'm kind of obsessed with this because it's like um, it's a carry-on I believe but I feel like it can fit a lot because it's stretchy. Um, I think there's stuff inside too because I've seen some of my other friends that got this. I saw their stories. I just haven't opened it yet. I just love all the little compartments. Like, love a soft luggage. You know, they just fit more, okay? So, thank you, Cowback. R little Red is here now. Big Red, we have Little Red. <laughs> all right, I want to figure out what I'm wearing tonight. So it's like weird. Like, my school also had dress code and then on Fridays we had a uniform and I know a lot of people are coming from work so they're in like business-ish attire. I know one of my friends is wearing a dress but I'm sure it's like a corporate-y dress. So I'm just like trying to match the vibes even though you know I'm proud of who I am and my style. I don't know. I don't want to be uncomfortable. So I have this dress. I haven't tried it on yet so I'm about to. It's from Rails and it's a midi dress which I love and it's flowy. It does have cutouts on the side but it cinches I think this could be really cute um it is a little chilly so I need to wear a jacket and I honestly don't know a jacket would go with this now that I say that out loud but this could be cute with like even sneakers or like some low heels I don't know or I have my classic like black blazer blue jeans with like my green platform heels and my like green bag which I feel very me, but then I was like under the blazer, I would wear, I typically would wear like a crop top or a bralette, and that's not the vibe tonight. But I don't wanna wear like a white button down under, that's just like, okay, she really tried to be businessy. So, I am unsure of what to do. Let me try on this dress and let's see what we can do with this. Okay, this is really cute. It's definitely a little bit oversized on me, which I don't know, maybe it's just not meant for me. Um, and I just also don't know how this would look with a jacket over top. I don't think it's very flattering on the body literally at all. It's kind of giving paper bag. So we're gonna go with no. I'm actually laughing at myself right now because I was just like, I shouldn't wear a button down with like a blazer. It's giving off like she's trying too hard. But these are both from Jerf Avenue. I've never tried them on together, so we'll see how it looks. But if I like kind of have it more open under this blazer, I'm thinking with leather pants could be a move and I'd feel like comfortable but still cute. I just I just don't want to wear like a crop tank under this. I don't know. Even though it's I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting situation to be in. I'm definitely thinking too deep into it, but we're going to try this with either some jeans or leather pants. Might switch out the blazer, might switch out the top, or I could just do the top and wear like a leather jacket and then take out the jacket when I get there. I think it's inside and outside. I don't know. I'm stressed. I text my friends I was like I'm nervous and they're like literally why? But I just am. Okay. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. This literally, <laughs> this can't happen. This just, this cannot happen today. And I'm dying laughing. This literally looks like my Friday uniform in high school. We wore a uh, navy blazer with a, a skirt, literally this gray color. No, 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 no. We gotta be more Danielle. Okay, this outfit feels very me. I think it's a good balance of like just everything. So, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I don't like it, but I think it's okay. I switched the top. This is a meow top I got on Revolve. I'll link it below. Jerf Avenue blazer. Jeans are from Lioness. And then I'm wearing my white Steve Madden heels. They're probably a little bit out there, but they honestly just give me so much confidence and I like feeling tall. I slicked back my hair. Just couldn't be bothered. Touched up my makeup from today. And then I'm trying to decide between these two bags. Like the white would be fun because it's like... The white matches the shoes, but it's almost weirdly too matchy. I don't know. And then I have my green, which I'm kind of leaning towards because there's some green in the shirt. It would tie it in. Yeah, I think I, I think I like the green. It's just a little pop of color, you know. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, the event was from six to eight. I have pimple patches on. The event was from 6 to 8 p.m. I stayed till 10.30. <laughs> I was the last person, I was one of the last people there. Needless to say, it was so much fun. I saw so many people from my high school that I didn't even know lived in New York. Like they either recently moved here or there was also like students that, you know, I knew that were younger than me. So they're still in college, but they go to college here in the city. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I didn't even drink that much. They had Sincera wine, which is just so good. So I just kept like grabbing and grabbing and I was like, oh my God. 
but it was so fun and I reconnected with some older girls and like we're getting dinner next week so highly suggest I know like not a lot of high schools obviously do stuff like this but it was really really fun I am slightly <laughs> I was literally at that point where I was like guys should we go out my friends like Danielle it's Monday and I was like I'm so happy they said that because as soon as I got home I was like I'm going to bed but in the moment you know, I was just having a good time. Hotel Hugo is beautiful. I got like one clip on the roof. It was really nice though because <laughs> no one asked what I did. Like it was all, everyone like knows the vibe. So not that like there's any shame in what I do, but I was just like, eh, I just like, oh, my toast is ready. I was like, eh, I just don't feel like going into it, but I had my YouTube channel in high school and I was definitely known as a YouTube girl. So I guess people just figured that I'm still her, and I am proud too. Actually, I just made like a piece of toast. I want like eggs and stuff, but I just can't do that right now, but I need something in my stomach before I have my morning coffee. I'm in a silly mood, but it was really, really fun. <laughs> and it was funny too, because all the other people there were like, yeah, I was telling my friends, like I'm going to my high school, like New York City reunion. I guess I do this every other year. And you know what? I'm proud of it. And so I was like, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks that. Because a lot of my friends were like, you're high school? Like, you're not, it's not your college or anything? I was like, no, no, no. Just made a piece of sourdough toast. <laughs> it's that kind of day. I also laid in bed a little too long because I went on TikTok, which was a mistake. And I wasn't even watching TikTok. I saw this girl's live, and her name is Fly with K. And she was like, preparing to take off on her little plane. And I watched the whole thing. That was probably 30 minutes, like going through all of her checklists. And so I just laid in bed an extra 30 minutes on accident, but that's okay. Anyways, feeling silly. I feel like I'm just in my living room with my roommate, you guys talking. So I'm gonna recover. I'm gonna eat this piece of toast and make some coffee. I need to put some eye patches on. I've got pimple patches on because I didn't put them on last night. And uh, just wake up for the day. All right, this seems to be my new favorite breakfast. Um, I still haven't had coffee because I was just way too hungry. Sometimes I like to drink coffee and then eat, but like sometimes I just wake up so hungry. It's tortilla, scram two scrambled eggs, hot sauce, avocado on the side, so yummy. Come to mama, baby. Give me the coffee. Okay, so this has been charging all night. Let's give it a shot here. Oh. Oh, I like it already. I will link this below. My coffee is still going, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's just so much easier to like get in hard places. My ice roller just vibing there. Wait, I'm obsessed. Watching Younger right now. Guys, I just vacuumed like my whole floor and I know you're like, okay, Danielle, we had to like bend down the whole time, but I was able to get like all in here. This was epic. Like actually epic. I am obsessed. I can't believe I didn't have one before. All right, I just showered and did my makeup. <laughs> my hair looks bad because we're about to get our hair done. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with, I'm doing my color today. I think we're gonna still do darker roots, but they're getting like really low and it looks good, but I just want a little bit brighter still. So we're gonna bring up the face framers around my face, obviously, so or the money pieces, whatever, the blonde pieces, and then just a little bit higher up. I go to Mads Hair in New York City. She's amazing. I was really nervous coming to a new city and not finding a place, but obviously I live in New York City. Like, there's gonna be people. You get what I mean, though. Um, she treats my hair really well. I'm gonna get my extensions bumped up one last time. And then I think I'm gonna talk to her today about going back in a couple weeks before I go home for Memorial Day to get my extensions out for the summer. So just because like jumping in the pool and go to the beach and just stuff like that It's just a lot easier not having your shit extensions in and I want to be able to do that like perfect slick back bun And it's a little bit hard to do when you have extensions naturally, but I love my extensions So it's gonna be hard to depart, but I did it last summer and I was really happy I did it let my hair breathe and I use less heat on my hair in the summer anyways, so yeah, I'll show you guys my outfit. We're gonna be there for a hot minute. I wanted to be comfortable, but I the reason I put on makeup and I want to look kind of cute is well, when you get your hair done, you're like, oh, I wish I had makeup on. It's fun. And then um, after we do our hair, me and Mads, and then Brooke and Kelly are actually meeting us for lunch because Brooke goes to Mads, and Kelly and Mads have been trying to meet up. 
Um, so we're just doing a little lunch somewhere near the salon. So I wanted to be like semi cute. I cannot take these pants off. Seriously obsessed with them. They're from Urban Outfitters. They're from the women's section. I will link them down below. They're kind of low rise, but like I'm kind of here for it. They're not like too low rise. I don't know. I just feel really, really good in them. And they're the perfect amount of bagginess if you have like bigger thighs like me. Um, and I just, I feel really confident and good in them. This top I got off of Revolve, it's off-white, and then my hair is blah. <laughs> I'm going to be using this tote bag today, because it's a little rainy, gloomy day. I needed to put my umbrella somewhere, and I'm going to stop by the bodega under her salon and get some snacks, because I will literally be there for a hot minute. And then I'm going to wear this, like, black bomber jacket. Wow, my hair is just not the vibe right now, but it's okay. I just want to have it up and away from my face. Let's go get our hair done. Woo! Just finished lunch. Kelly was headed to an event. I'm here with Brooke. Hello. We're going Gals in. Afternoon. Gals afternoon, of course, as it is. We're headed into Sephora. It was so funny. In front of Kelly, I was like, Brooke, do you want to go to Sephora? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, what? I want to go to Sephora. So I can't say the last time I shopped like in store Sephora. I just love I just this do one. online usually. Yeah, I know. Yeah, same, but I need more Kosas Revealer Concealer. We were just talking about on the pod too. Oh my God! Yeah. Because yeah. well, it's drying out now. Yeah. So I get that. Also, this is the hair. Mads did a really great job. She couldn't so, end up coming to lunch, so she was missed. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. A little bit lighter, and we're gonna go shop now. Woo. Jk, they're out. I mean, I guess I could get the 0.5. No, that would be too, too light. I usually am like this. And I think 2.5, well, I could try 2.5. This is the concealer, I love it so much. Came in for one thing, and this is what happens now. We both have baskets. Yeah, you're gonna need the basket. We were getting little travel things, it's fun. Back now, sorry the lighting is so yellow. Um, it's very gloomy outside, it's raining now. Had such a lovely day. I was wanting to go to my roof because I feel like I've been inside all day because the hair appointment took like oh, three hours typically, um, which is crazy. It goes by so fast, but yeah, love my hair. It looks so good. Went to Sew House with Brooke and Kelly, which was just so nice because they've both met in like party settings and like they're both two really, really good friends of mine, but they've never gotten to like have like a really good conversation like during the day. So it was really nice to just like have lunch and they, it was just like a good moment. And then um, Brooke and I went to Sephora cause Kelly was going to do like a staycation with Sally Hansen. I literally went in to get one thing, as you guys know, the Kosas Revealer Concealer and they didn't have it. And then I tried another concealer. They didn't have my shade. They just didn't, they didn't have a lot of stuff in stock. I was not happy about that, but it's okay. So the concealer that I ended up trying, let's see, I didn't take a bag. I just like put it all in my tote, but now I like can't find everything. But I do a little haul. Brooke and I were like dying in the minis, the mini section, like the little travel size stuff because it's just so fun. So I, because <laughs> I'm going to Palm Springs this weekend. So I got the travel size of the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Cream. This is the Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. So good. I literally bought this a while ago, the big one, and it's just such a good moisturizer. I love it. Oh, okay. Well, the big one, you like pump it. I should have figured this one. It's not. It's like more hygienic, I guess. It's just really good moisturizer and It'll be good to have because the desert, you know, it's dry there. It's not like humid like the East Coast. I got a mini dry bar detox dry shampoo. I got this purely because Brooke talked about it on our podcast episode this week. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Um, she uses it as like skin prep before she puts her makeup on and I'm very interested. She just said she loves it so much and her skin's looking really good. So I was like... I'll give it a shot. I love watermelon too. So Kelly does this thing. Kelly, if you guys don't know, she's a makeup artist, makeup XK on Instagram. She has this thing that she started called gym lips where she, she like wears makeup to the gym, not makeup, but like she does her lips, not even, it's like, it's called gym lips, but it's like running errands, lips, whatever. So she overlines or like outlines her lips with lip liner using a lip liner. That's very similar to the shade of her natural lip and then she uses just like a regular lip balm or gloss over top not gloss like a lip balm so it looks like you have like these naturally bigger lips so she'll do like the lip liner with like a lip balm and then like doesn't wear makeup or she'll wear like the super goop um like glow screen or something anyways i want to try it out so the makeup artist at 
Sephora helped me find this one. This one's called Huda Beauty, and it's in the shade Honey Beige. It's one of their lip liners. I think it was this one I was swatching. Just super similar to my lip color. Updates to come on how it'll go. And then this is exactly what Kelly uses. It's the Summer Friday. It's just like lip balm. So, feels really good. It's um vanilla. Yeah, it's vanilla. So this one's the clear one. I have this already, and I love it. It's in the, like, the mauve color or whatever, but I liked... This one, because I want to try the gym lips thing, because I'm inspired, obviously. The concealer that I ended up trying, though, because, like, literally everything was out, the Armani Luminous Silk Multi-Purpose Glow Concealer, because I love the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, obviously. So I was like, oh, this look, looks like it has a good thick wand. I need more under eye concealer. Let's give it a shot, so I'll let you guys know how it is. Then I think that's it. Yeah, so that's what I got at Sephora. It's 6.45. I have some emails to get to. I just need to clean. I left my apartment in a tizzy this morning. I didn't make my bed, you know, stuff like that. And just enjoy my night to myself. So, yeah. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Cozy vibes at the apartment right now. The rain stopped. It's just a nice chill day. I also wanted to note, I don't know if any of you guys care about Ryan, um, my boyfriend. He got to go into an office today. His first time ever going into an office with his job here in the city and he's so happy. It was so cute. He sent me Snapchats this morning. He was in his suit. He took the subway. He went to Fidei where his building is and like he's thriving. I think he gets to go a couple days this week. His company basically just like rents out office space when they want. So I guess they were doing it this week. I'm just so happy for him. He's like eating with his coworkers right now. It's so cute. I can't, he like went to Brookfield Place and got lunch. Oh, love that for him so much. Um, I just got a package in the mail. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> but a package, a very exciting package, a pair of boots that I literally put an order in, I think four or five months ago, maybe three with city boots. They have these amazing, beautiful, really fun cowboy boots. And they came just in time for Stagecoach before I even knew I was going to Stagecoach. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm like, okay, I have an outfit that they can go with because I wasn't sure if they were coming in time, but I still like planned an outfit around these boots. They're allowed, but like that is what we want. Also, Gals and Go merch on sale now. Galsandgopodcast.com, don't text. Don't text in the back, too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah, so gorgeous. The packaging is just a little unboxing, I guess, we're doing. Oh my gosh, I see it. Ah, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Literally, I am unwell. Red boots with hearts. So so I got red because I was like, go dogs. Obviously to wear to a game day would be so iconic. And they're just so fun. And then the special part about them, I got these customized. So on either side, I'm literally like so sappy, but I thought it'd be cute for like, when I go to game days and stuff. UGA 2021. I'm obsessed. These are so cute. They smell so good. Wow. So. That's happening. Yay! Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Ah, I'm so excited. My little late night snack is <laughs> romaine lettuce plain. I know I'm really, really weird. Gonna watch a little bit of this movie before I go to bed. I watched it one of my fashion merchandising classes a while back. It's on HBO Max. It's called The First Monday in May. Next week is Matt Gala, so I'm just, you know, trying to get hype. It's it's really good. I, I recommend it. And just like that, it's time to go to bed. See you guys in the morning. <sighs> good morning. It's Wednesday. Good morning, guys. I slept fabulously last night. I just put, you know, my clips back. And I woke up this morning, get my hair out of my face. My blowout still looks really good for my... Um, hair appointment yesterday. We're gonna try. I've tried them a couple times, but I realized I don't think I vlogged it We're gonna try the freeze tools by Georgia Louise. I got these on revolve Also, there's about to be a knock on the door. Um, I woke up literally in bed and I realized that I didn't have any more half and half and that just ruins the whole morning for my coffee situation 
So I used that app Getter for the first time. It used to be called 15, 20 ounce Getter. Literally 12 minutes ago I ordered it and he's here. <laughs> so I got half and half, more dish pods and uh, more Ziploc baggies because I needed them. I love this app. Anyways, these are like cryo face tools, I think. I don't really know. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this app. Got my half and half. That was the most important part. Okay. Um, that is one of the benefits of living in New York City. There are a lot of very fast, amazing delivery services. I always make sure to tip, obviously, because they are doing literally God's work. <laughs> I've just been going like this. I think the point of these, it's kind of like just using any other face tool, but since there's two of them, you can use them at the same time. So it's not just like feeling it on one side, like when you're ice rolling. I don't know, that's why I was intrigued by it. Cause I get like double the, the freeze on either side or like sometimes I'll just hold it and like bring it up or like just hold it under my eyes. Also, be careful with these things, you guys. I've seen a few TikToks now where people, like, you're supposed to, like, rub it, which I didn't do, actually. You're supposed to rub it on your hands or your arm before when you're using, like, an ice roller or something like this because you can literally, like, burn your skin off from it being too cold. I literally saw TikToks about it. So just be smart. Um, but then once you rub it on your arm a couple times, you're usually good. But I just, like, hold it. I don't know, it feels amazing. I like using different facial tools for different things, but when I opened my freezer this morning, this felt right. Today's gonna be a good day, it's sunny out. I got to see Ryan briefly last night, I didn't vlog it, he like came back, he like didn't get back till like 10 o'clock, so he just popped by here before he went home. Um, we just hung out for a little bit, but he had so much fun at the office and he's there again today. So, so happy for him. But yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. I hope I, well, I'll get outside because I have my workout at 11.30. That's like my routine. I, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I love my walk. It's like a 30, like a 25 minute walk. Um, and I really enjoy it. So I'm glad it's sunny out because that makes the walk a lot nicer. And then I have a lot of computer work to do. So I'm kind of debating bringing my laptop and then straight from my workout going to a cafe or something um, and getting a ton of work done because sometimes it's just easier for me to focus if I'm like, okay, I'm here to get this stuff done, like it has to get done rather than coming to my apartment and like lollygagging around. I also love going to the public hotel lobby. They have like a coffee shop, which sounds really weird, but they have like this whole workspace area that's absolutely amazing and they have a coffee shop that also has food and stuff. So I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards that. And then come back, shower, I'm getting a spray tan with glow to go. And then I just need to pack. Big packing day for Palm Springs. I obviously have all my outfits planned out for Stagecoach. I tried one of them on last night with the red boots. Fire flames. I also need to remember to wear the red boots today because apparently I really need to break them in. So I'll just be wearing them around my apartment while I pack. I'm, I'm very serious because I do not want to be in pain at Stagecoach. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of the layout of the day. Nothing crazy, but I will be taking you guys along. I'm, you guys are like, what are you doing with your face? Now that I have my half and half, it's gonna be a good day, I just feel it. Okay, it's very early. Usually I'm a night packer, but I wanna feel good about like going to get some work done after my workout, not coming straight here. So I thought I'd get a little done now. And then I'm gonna make some breakfast because I'm so hungry. Um, this is what we have going on right now. I just laid everything out that I'm wearing to the festival and I realized I have five full outfits. Well, I'm still wearing on, waiting on a pair of jean shorts to come literally today. I don't know, I like them all. I've tried them all on. This one, I'm obsessed with. Like, it's so fun, it's a romper, but it kind of shows my booty a little bit more than I'd like. So that's just like a backup, but I'm gonna bring it because it's so fun, obviously, and I mean, it's so fun. And then that dress is this beautiful, like, bodysuit dress from Free People that is just so easy and flowy, and I think it's just like a really good festival outfit. I'm gonna wear it with like black boots and a black hat. I'm still waiting on the shorts for this. I'm doing like a denim moment. So I need to try it on. If it doesn't feel good, then I'll like knock out that outfit and do that one maybe. But this outfit is a definite yes. This outfit is a definite yes. This outfit is with the red boots. You guys can go to my Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, to probably already have seen these outfits in action. So that's why I'm not going too in deep. Um, oh, these jewels go with this. That's a body chain. 
This fanny pack is from Stony Clover. And then this little belt to also go around it. It's very fun. Um, so yeah, I just want to get all these things in a row. I have packing cubes, and I might like put in each individual outfit in an outfit in a packing cube, just because it's all like delicate stuff. I don't want to. I don't know. Just thinking out loud here. And then once I get all of this packed away, then I will do. I just need some bathing suits because our house has a pool. Some cover-ups. We're doing a photo shoot. Um, with spritz like the alcohol while we're there too, which we love their canned drinks um, And we have to wear like, you know spritz colors So I need to pack some like red yellow or orange and then just some comfy clothes Other than that we won't like go to dinner or anything like we'll get dinner at the festival We want to be there as long as we can that is the energy we're going with right now now it's time to make breakfast I'm honestly feeling just another breakfast um, taco because those are so good This is just heaven on earth Outer Banks, no I'm kidding, but look how good this looks. I just did my dishes, cleaned off my counters. You can't really tell because there's so much stuff everywhere. I need to find a new place for the vacuum because I don't think it's very sanitary to have it on the counter, but that's where it is right now. I have this out because I want to fill up my supplements before I pack. I have some Keurig pods <laughs> um, that I'm gonna take to the stagecoach house. I have this cow pack with um, Taco Bell collaboration here. They sent over a couple things and one of the things are these awesome Packing cubes that are like mild sauce packets, which I think is hilarious one large one medium one envelope and two small So I'm going to attempt to use these to like pack each outfit, which is obviously excessive But I have like accessories for each outfit and I just think that makes sense because other than that I'm just wearing like casual clothes. So I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, this is my first time trying on this outfit. I've tried on this shirt. I'm just holding it because I haven't like done it yet. I do not like it. It is not the vibe. It's too Coachella, not Stagecoach. The pants at the top aren't what I thought it would be. I love this top so much. It's from IMG. And this hat, I don't know. It's just something's not right here. So I'll either nix this outfit, which is fine. I have four others. Or wear different pants. Okay, I don't know why in this moment I want to do this, but I'm about to leave for the gym. And Brooke and I were talking on the podcast this week how we want to start wearing sunscreen every day. And I have this Super Goop Glow Screen. I love the Unseen Sunscreen. But this one I think has a little tint to it. And I was like, oh, I'm like going to a coffee shop after. So like, we'll try it out. I don't usually like to wear makeup or anything when I work out, but I mean, this is barely anything. Yeah, okay. It's not really like tint. I mean, I guess it has a little tint to it. Just gives me a little glow. I'll put a little bit more on like my cheeks, but it's SPF 40. I realize how important it is to wear sunscreen every day and I'm gonna start doing it. <laughs> and that is thanks to Supergoop. So I also told Brooke I would tell her how the glow screen is cause she only has the unseen. Very impressed, very glowy. See, it's really hard for me to like not want to put on more makeup though. I'm not gonna do gym lips, I'm not comfortable yet. Sorry, Kelly, I wanna do gym lips when I'm like running errands. But I'm just putting on some lip balm. Just brushed my teeth. This has been my favorite perfume. This is just like the worst angle, I'm sorry. Um, this has been my favorite perfume as of recently, Ten Noir from La Labo. It's like a unisex scent, it's like clean. It smells like the Edition Hotel, if you guys have ever been there. I'll link this down below. I feel like my skin looks nice and glowy now. It didn't like, make me feel like I needed to put on more makeup, which is good, because I hate like, I'm like, oh, now I need to put on concealer, you know? But like, just gave a nice little sheen. Headed to my workout with Jane. Here's the fit. Just threw on this bomber. Hopefully it's getting a little bit warmer out today. It's sunny. Have some fun today, my tote says. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the public hotel after my workout. Let's do it. <laughs>
just got back. I'm currently in my workout outfit still. I popped on my red boots. I just got this Swiffer because my bathroom floors get so dirty. And this is the wet one, like there's a wet thing on it. So let's see how this goes. I'm literally just like cleaning <laughs> in my red boots, but it had to happen. And then we're gonna shower. Wow, I'm failing. Then we're gonna shower and pack and just do other things around the apartment. We're pretty much in the apartment all day. Hi guys, so it's 5.26 p.m. In a little bit, in like five minutes, my spray tan girl is gonna be here. Glow to go is coming to me. I love them so much. The tans are amazing and it's so nice not having to leave my apartment because they come, they spray tan you and you don't have to like get dressed right away and like be worried about like ruining it. Like I literally just walk around naked after she leaves. It's pretty awesome. I really hope my favorite girl is coming today. So I went to the public hotel to do work. I was really bummed because the upstairs area that's like my favorite, it's like once you go up the cool escalators, it's that main lobby. It was completely full. People were getting the memo. So there were no tables. So I went back downstairs and there's like these really cool little small bistro tables and I missed it. There's a sign that says, sorry, no laptops here. And I was just sitting there and he, and there was like a ton of us sitting there with laptops on. And he was like, sorry, like this is for eating only, even though I was also eating. I understand that there's some places in New York that are like that, which I respect. Like I know Maman does that or like certain hours or something like you can't have your computers out, which I can appreciate and I know like they want to create this like relaxing cool atmosphere so then the only place I had left to sit was like this bar area um which a ton of other people were sitting there doing computers so it was nice but there's literally like musical chairs so I don't know if we'll go back unless like I know it's super not packed I don't know if you guys live in New York and you care but then I came back, got the Swiffer, all that stuff. I just got off the phone with Ryan. He's at his office right now and he had a little bit of a break. And we were kind of talking about the next couple months and what traveling looks like. And this is why I didn't make it. People are like, what are you doing for summer? I'm like, oh, like nothing. Things are happening. Like I'm kind of looking ahead. Like this weekend, Stagecoach. Next weekend, Delaney's flying up to New York City for the weekend. Delaney leaves next Sunday on Mother's Day. My mom flies in at the same time she's flying out. My mom comes for a few days for Mother's Day. Then I'm going to Virginia that weekend, the next weekend in May to meet Ryan's grandparents for the first time, his like dad's parents that I've never met. And then like two weeks later, I'm gonna go to Tampa. I decided for two weeks, we're pre-recording a ton of the podcast episodes because I'm going home for Memorial Day because my friends from Georgia are like coming down for Memorial Day because we like always do that now. And I decided to like tack on a week before and a week after. I'm so privileged and so beyond thankful that I can work from wherever. The only thing I just had to get done was Brooke and I would pre-record um, a few episodes, which I'm so thankful that she was okay with me doing that. Um, and then, just because I, lo I love Tampa so much, as you guys know, and gotta soak it up. Uh, and then I'll be here um, in most of June, and then the last weekend of June, I'm gonna go to my family, or last week of June, I'm going to my family reunion um, in Illinois. I do that every year, except for one year during COVID, but I'm so excited, and we're trying to figure out so Ryan can come too. Um, it's just so good for the soul. It's my parents, my grandparents lake house in Southern Illinois, good vibes. And then I think I want to go home for 4th of July <laughs> and we'll come back. And then Brooke and I are doing something in July together and then that's it. Hopefully they didn't trust you guys out, but I was like, okay, like, wow, lots happening. But, and it's so funny. None of it's international travel. I just like, haven't been. Like, well, recently a little bit. I've been like, ooh, international travel sounds nice, but it's just so much work. Like, I've got the domestic flights down. I know how to do it. And then I just get so stressed when it's international. Like, even going to Mexico, I was so stressed. Um, all good stress, of course, but I'm just realizing. It's just like a lot of my trips are to see people, which is funny. It's not funny, but like all of these trips that I listed basically are to be with people I love. So I'm really grateful for that. But. Yeah, I don't know if you guys care, but I just gave you that lowdown. Spray tan's about to happen. And then we really need to finish packing. Which, I mean, it, it's happening. It's happening over there. I just, oh, I need to get my suitcase. I meant to go do that before I'm all spray tanned. Oh, dang it. I guess I could go run and do that now, but not in this robe. Ah, okay, you guys don't care. I am naked, but just got my spray tan and I love it. Tonight's dinner, I got myself some veggie rolls. 
and I think these are dumplings. Yes, yeah, some yummy dumplings. I'm gonna start with these as little appetizer. This will be my dinner later. Might need more food, we shall see, but I'm gonna eat these for now. It's like 6.30. Okay, update. Um, I just had my dumplings, they were delicious. Things are happening here. I have this bin that I keep up there in my closet, which is nice, um, and I have all my swimsuits in it and like cover-ups. So, I wanna have at least four swimsuits because we're there four days. Well, five days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but like Monday we're, tra we're traveling. And I don't know if I'll be in a bathing suit tomorrow or not, so I wanted to bring four, but then I brought a fifth because I just, you never know. Okay, you never know. Um, these are my outfits right here. All nestled in their little sauce packet packing cubes that are honestly so fun. Don't know what to do about this hat now because the outfit that I wanted to wear it with, I tried on earlier and it actually wasn't a moment. So, I feel like I should still bring it though. Um, I got this on 12thtribe.com. Oh yeah, I think I did vlog. I feel like I did show you guys. Yeah, I did show you. So I'm trying to decide, I have one outfit like with this white dress and black boots. I feel like I'm just gonna bring it. I'm just gonna bring a ton of cowboy hats. I like bought a few on Amazon because I was really worried how they turn out in person. So I found this one on Amazon. This one is from 12th Tribe. That one back there is from Amazon. And this white one I got a while back at like a cowboy hat store in Georgia. Um, and then this little pack right here, I'm just putting like comfy clothes and stuff to lounge around and during the day I'm still building that. And then I'm just bringing some cargo pants because you just never know, I'm obsessed with them right now. And then this dress because I just like it. And so a wardrobe malfunction could happen. I can't wear a dress, uh, one of my outfits last minute. This wouldn't be a bad option to wear to stagecoach one day. Shoes, <laughs> obviously bringing these. These are from Free People. They're so comfy, the material is amazing. I will link them down below because I'm so obsessed. And that's for one of my outfits, so one, two. And then I'm bringing my black cowgirl boots. And then I'm shipping white cowgirl boots to our Airbnb in Stagecoach. In Indio, I mean. So that's that. That's my little sweat set that I'm wearing on the plane tomorrow. Drink poppy, we love. I have a feeling Margot Oshry may be wearing that tomorrow. We will see what happens, it's just so comfy. And yeah, I'll probably pack a pair of jeans and like a couple more like tanks, some biker shorts, and then something to sleep in, and then we're good to go. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this week in my life in New York City, or I guess half of a week, technically. Um, get excited because we're gonna be doing a stagecoach stage coach vlog. Packing is just about done. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and being a constant supporter of my channel. And I'll see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.